Hello everyone, this is Fantastic Worlds, looking back to Lovecraft Country and Cultist Simulator tips and tricks. Although I'm going to be shifting that today to more Cultist Simulator Let's Play, because we've gotten to the point where I've already taught you all the techniques you're going to need in order to win the dancer. And now essentially we're just going to be heading straight in to the end of the dancer DLC. Now I did a little bit of grinding off screen. As you can see, because I've got the four vitality here, the ready to, ready to upgrade my uh, strength to level four. But of course, we've also already done the tier four and tier six dances to get us to the level four section, both the dance and the change aspect here. In addition, we've already got the guys Fox ready for the level eight ones, so which you have to make some decisions here. But before we go, a couple announcements. One, we have shot past the 400 subscribers required in order to get the... Um, unlock the priest dlc now the way i'll be doing this is i will be finishing this dlc then doing four um, episodes for darkest dungeon live tips and tricks because i have uh, both sets of the audience and then we'll flip over to the uh, priest dlc after that do another four and if by the end of that we have 450 subscribers i will of course unlock the um medium question mark DLC for Cultist Simulator. So therefore, um, which is going to be pretty likely as we're currently, I believe, at 415 followers here. And of course, if you subscribe to my Twitch channel, which I'm broadcasting live from right now, although majority of you are probably watching this on YouTube, then that also will trip the same thing. So if you choose to uh, subscribe to both of my channels and the link in the Twitch, the other channel will be in the description. This is Twitch. You can see it over in... Um, yeah, you can see over my YouTube one. This is YouTube. You can see my Twitch one, Twitch uh, link down in the description below. In any case, let's get to it. So first thing we have to consider is how we're going to progress from here because there are multiple directions we can do so. We need, first of all, to get a tier eight secret histories. Now I have a whole bunch of fours and I can take the time and I can combine these together to get an eight. That's not going to take too long. The problem is, is the 10 and 14 ones are going to require much, much larger um sections of secret histories essentially we'll need a tier 10 and a tier 14 tier 12 is not necessary in this game for narrative purposes because we um the area for the in 12 that's re how do i put this recyclable returnable reusable whatever the last one that keeps coming up every time is not thematically appropriate that would be i believe the tomb of the forgotten kings in which case you know there's a bunch of dead people who want to eat us i don't think it's a great place for dancing anyways so our humanity of course is slowly degrading as we have currently got um two five hat parts of our soul sold for the next transformation so in this case what i'm probably going to do is the first thing is we're going to before these vitalities run out is we're going to upgrade to the tier four strength card now we're going to of course require that we need to get a type of lore now in every other type of um run you would put in the forge aspect for the power because that would give you the level four chiseled strength one the one that makes you dangerous the one that reduces uh, physical labor from 45 seconds to 40 seconds but this case you remember our heart run as it were for the that you want to put in the Oops, huh, well, that's, put them all back, put them all back. All right, Eesh. Anyways, we want to use the heart lore, so that's going to give us grace rather than strength, which is what we need in order, come on, there we go, to do so, a deeper grace. I will follow the Thunderskin's voice. In other words, the Thunderskin being the living drum at the heart of creation that acts as creation's heartbeat. Essentially, the, heart, the Thunderskin was the thing that was skin to make the heartbeat of creation. I mean, Callie would be proud of that one. So let's begin that process. Okay. Simultaneously, we want to keep the job. So we've only got, we've got less than 60 seconds remaining for it. So we toss in one of our healths here. Okay. While we're doing that, we probably want to do some deep dives. Now, the thing is, we know the answer to the stag riddle has to be a level six lore. We've got a level six thing. So I'm just going to risk that up. Nope, it is not the answer, which means we're going to have to go in and get some other level six lore. I've already tried the, the um, secret history, so this leaves it to be one of the other four aspects. In the meantime, we'll get a random dream for failing that one. I don't think I'm getting a level another level six lore over doing so. I'm going to be moving at normal speed in order to start, simply because we're... Um, uh, I just woke up, so to speak. Well, not just woke up. I woke up about two hours ago, but my brain is still not at full speed, so I'm currently drinking coffee while we're doing this. So as you can see, we need to get rid of the uh, police officer for the next step because one of the directions I'm going to go into is I'm going to try to get our beloved 
heart followers to their level 10 speed. Mm. Oh, gods. Okay, there appears to be some blipping going on here. Um, if you are watching YouTube, you won't notice, but, well, nobody's watching into Twitch right now, so it doesn't really matter. Any case, let's, yeah, that was a quick uh, auction of a jumble we got for that. So, yeah, do we need to be go anywhere at this time? I don't think so. We've see if there's anything left of the auction house. I don't think there is. All right. All right. The auction house is for, oh yeah, the something something deep mystery something. This indicates that the store is now empty. And we're not buying that, obviously. Somebody else can have that trash. <laughs> All right. Follower. Excellent. One of my favorite one. Probably my favorite one, Unit Renara. I do love my Grail ones. Like the heart ones too, but the Grail ones are just, you know, good for the appetite. Anyways, oosh, we are getting a crowd here. Okay, cat, you go there. Right there. Almost at full, too. Now, I'm not going to grab another follower because that's going to create another mystique. I'm trying to ditch the um, cop for the next uh, part of it, which is going to be getting a level 8 tool, the painting. It's a lot easier than trying to dig one out. And I'm going to have two mystique running, this one and he's got right now and that one, so it's going to be another 90 seconds or so. And we got another fleeting, re fleeting remembrance. Okay. So, usual dance, didn't have any extra options, and we'll take a nap as soon as the uh, dream clears here. Appears to be Girde's Ribble. Now, I do not want to use this card, by the way. Not only is the um, Scar not running, I need to be able to um, use this to upgrade my contract to the Sidious Club. I think I got that one down. Anyway, so let's just do a regular dance while we're waiting. Boom. After all, we do need to pay the bills if we are becoming Eldritch Abomination, because that's just how this works. I've always liked the fact that we're like, I see glowing eyes and red, uh, black skin, but what exactly? I don't, probably Landlord doesn't care, as long as we have the uh, rent check every month. All right. Boom. Extra health, and there we go. Flawless physique. Machine perfection. Senior bound ivory. Titan satin skin from here. I can only deteriorate. Which is actually what we're going to be doing next. Yeah, we need to get a third scar in order to be able to do this. Because remember, when we dance, successes of our dances are determined by the number of hearts we have. A regular health has one, has two heart, but a scar has four, despite the fact that it is no longer usable for any other function. Now, while we're doing this, I need to get a level eight lore here. And we're going to do a quick combination. We're going to need the uh, Glimmering. So we'll just toss in a passion where we're doing studying and get towards that point. Okay, cop, 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 cop. Cop needs to get bored. Do, 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 do. All right. Boom. Don't need you at the moment, although I can use you if I really need cash. Not an issue, by the way. We've got 19. Nancer is one of the ones that you do not have to uh, worry about uh, getting cash. But as soon as we clear the work scenario, I'm going to upgrade my contract. Yeah, need the stum as well. Boom, we've got it. But let's deal with the lore first. All right, so Dread Trap is now active, which means I need... Yeah, we had a bad dream. Harassault's Nightmare. I've leveraged up the four boards, wriggled and snugly. Now I'm compressed beneath them like a hidden corpse. The ear stinks of hot death. The mouth is full of splinters, but this is the space below. Fuck, that was weird. Anyways, so yeah, it's time to get drunk. Okay, let's party. Do, 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 do. Now Stum produces a dread, which means I gotta give her that dread trap before I can use it anyways. Okay, so, do, do, yeah, normal speed. I'll probably switch to fast forward in a minute or two, but I want to get past this necessity here. Gay theater, usual. Um, hmm, looks like we're going to be glimmering here, which is exactly what I need. Of course, I've already got it set up. Now, let's deal with the contract. Contract club. This level. Now, prove my abilities to Sulichana. Remember, we put it in the level 4 instead of level 3. Level 3, she said we weren't ready yet. But this one will, in fact, allow us to... Sound balance a bit off. Hang on a second. This one will allow us to be able to uh, produce um, the level 4 contract. 
I believe I am ready for the dances that occur only by special arrangement. Remember, we moved from the regular dances to the VIP room. Now we're going to be moving up to the small chamber in the uh, attic. So the channel invite me to the top room of the club, the moon-windowed attic where she keeps her keys and her jewels and her trophies. I will offer me from wine from an ivory cup before I begin. The wine will be thick and sweet. My mind will teem with new thoughts. Oh, they're dragging us again. The air will flutter like wings, but even after I disrobe, I will not be cold. Ooh, she's, she's drinking the Kool-Aid. Let's go. <laughs> now the influences. Now, oof. Well, actually, I kind of think it's cool. We'll just use the subtle... um. Two-pointer, uh, we've got already. I should be using a, um, oops, a Vitality or another type of, uh, let's see, the Scars, uh, the do Influences, and that ah, purpose. There we go. I should be using a heart-based one, like Vitality, Vitality Lesson Learned, um, but I don't have one. I'm hoping this is going to be enough. I'm just tossing this in because we're going to lose it anyways. That's it's kind of appropriate we're using a gate energies. Okay. To, you know, transform ourselves. To draw in the istic powers from beyond. And getting really drunk at the same time, too. <laughs> Gods. I like the fact that we we purchase opium to get rid of our dread. It doesn't seem terribly smart. But again, drugs in 1923, London, or... <laughs> cocaine is regularly prescribed by doctors. You can ask Sherlock Holmes about that. <laughs> Alright, what do we got? All right, so yeah, we've basically got the contentment we're popping in there. Could use just a future reference, by the way. If you do actually need a two-point ref, the two-point um, heart ref uh, influence for this or anything else, contentment has two heart, two lantern, and you can get it for thirty seconds after you spend one funds. If you do opium, you risk getting a dread or um, sickness or other types because you know it is drug addiction. But you usually can get away with it. I think it's like a ninety percent chance success, or you always get successful. It's a ten percent chance of getting a something you don't want. So let's see. This is forty seconds. Let's. Take shave 10 seconds off of that. We continue to do our drug dances for Sulachana. You see, it's been implied, by the way, by some people writing this, that um, the proprietors, first the drummer, whose name unfortunately escapes me at the moment. There we go. We'll combine these lures now. No, no, we don't want to do that. Get this lore. And that lore, six and six make... Six, four and four make six, duh. Anyways, hit it. Let's see, what do we need for the second one here? Have to experimentation. Ooh, we could hurt ourselves. That does make sense to this dancing thing. We are definitely overclocking ourselves. All right, let's see what Sulachana has to say. First, let's, of course, do the glimmering we don't need anymore. Ah. You'll do, says Sulachana Ama Amavasa. Welcome to the changing room. She looks at me up and down in a way she often does. Not long now, not long now. Perhaps I should mention to you. Perhaps time I mentioned to you, my sister. Just not the one that eats people, okay? Boom. Now we have the particular arrangement with the Asidious Club. I am occasionally paid a generous consideration to perform very specific dances, very specific on a series. Basically, we have become a high priestess of the dance, and particular individuals will pay enormous amounts of money to Sulachana to watch us go, which we, of course, we get our usual cut. You know. I sometimes rail against capitalism, but there are proper ways of doing this. Just pay your people correctly. Let's get this reset. All right. Um, let's see. Napping. Continuing. Study the lore. Unceasing. We still have not ditched the damn cop. Just glad. Oh, too glimmering. Just glad, by the way, that we do not produce um, uh, mystique for the private dances, which does in fact make sense because no one's going to see it because Sula Chandra, she's not going to tell the cops. But when we in fact go out and do it for public or even for the VIP room or apparently for very small crowds, we do in fact generate a bit of a buzz, as it were. Haha, -ha, considering the creature we're becoming in this. Although, moths don't buzz, do they? They flutter. Okay. Let's see. All right, still going on there, and I'm probably going to switch to fast forward. I think I've got enough here. Oh, great. Now a contentment, which I could have used a second ago, but it is two points, so that may come in handy. Or I can... Now, one of the things I can use is use Silichana's card to preserve this if I want to uh, use the stum and use it to cancel out. But once I have stum, then I've got the uh, influence-based ritual that I can use just to burn off... Um, 
And I've got the six points in lore I can use to burn off uh, any dread. Okay, back to fleeting reminiscence. Two point moth. You got yeah, cash. And the usual nap. Boom. Now let's do our new contract, shall we? Because we need to get this scar. Th oh, 14 seconds. I can wait. Uh, we need to get this scar up and going. Mm, cute oak. Alright, so glimmering for intuition check. In addition, the scars are up and running. All right, so let's see what we got. Further steps. I'm already in demand for the most exacting of dances. Yes, yeah, so for the ritual power. Now, remember, every heart we put in here, Will has a 10% chance of becoming a scar. We need that scar, but it leaves us only two hearts to deal with things like health, which is an issue. So let's need the club card and the influence. Inspired work, the air we begin. So yeah, let's just toss this in, make it a higher one, because I will be able to take care of other issues. So the primary reason we're doing this is not just the cash, because I'm 18 of thumbs. I'm not really that hard off at the moment. But we are doing it to convert that health into a scar. So let's go. Let's dance on the stage. Although hopefully, yeah, he's going to burn out looking for... Uh, he's only at 10 seconds to find another um, uh, mystique. We have 60 seconds before we're going to generate it, because we're cool. All right, so boom. I should, however, have probably timed it slightly better. Now he's on the evidence cycle, the cop. So, oh, whoops, we have three health in reserve. Keep forgetting about that part. And had one in operation. So, and... Now, the thing is, I'm going to probably switch over. There goes the restlessness. And he's out of the game, which is good. I think I can burn the restlessness in the usual fashion. Once I get, of course, the thing up. All right, ooh, forgot to do that. Anyways, I think it's exactly the same. We'll be doing that enough times that I will, of course, be able to tell you that uh, I will inform you if it's different. Now, okay, boom. Do that. Take a nap. Yeah, we do a lot of napping in this game. It's really exciting. Anyways, so what is next? What are we looking for? We are probably looking for... Um, in this level six lore, which means we're going to have to go looking for books. Now, one of the ways we can do this is I can generate through the regular dreams level two um, additional level two secret histories, and we can snab some books that are currently in the city. This, of course, generates and is no variety. First things first, though, is I want to get the lore, the um, heart lore up to eight in order to produce the um, level 10 uh, companion. I still have some companions to go here. I should have been a little more careful with the mystique because if he pops up again, and is he going to? Nope, looks like the next cycle we're clear. If we get the, he's going to go back to active, and I hate that. Unless I'm really good, I can use the paint uh, timing and use the painting to hide the uh, reputation. And there goes the restlessness because we do not have an additional integbin, integbin, whatever. We didn't, we don't have a piece of soul or a soul to sell. So we got to take care of that. All right, so, health, back to normal, walk and chant. Now, we need to, you, you have a health available to do this or sacrifice a prisoner for their practical experimentation. We are not sacrificing a prisoner and that glimmering is not gonna last. So, we gotta have another glimmering ready up and ready to go when we uh, put these two together. Oh, yeah, we're gonna generate some level two lore just so we can have the option of stealing other people's books. What we got here? Yep, Fascination Trap next. Fascination has not really been an issue. Alright, so maybe we'll actually get that patron this time. Who knows? I think it's like a 2% chance every time we do this we get a male or female patron interested in us. And since the game is not... Well, game is not coded for hetero only, despite being 1923, because, you know, if you go back and check the literature, there was an explosion of... um what we would call LGBTQ plus identity during that time, but um, I really didn't happen that often. Now, two, three seconds from be out in the public that often, but if you're an aristocrat, nobody's going to. They're just going to call you eccentric, not throw you in prison like they did Oscar Wilde. Now, let's see. Oh, contract. There we are. Got to put that back in its usual place, otherwise I'm just going to lose track of it. Put the restlessness in to get rid of it. Boom. Now, we'll see that I'll... So if you remember this time to double check to see if there's a new uh, uh, lore for that. But yes, let's see. Doo, 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 doo. This is the grindy part. We're going to have to get to the uh, dancing part. Ah, there we are, two-pointer. 
Okay, so definitely throw this one in and see what we can get. I'm looking specifically for another one like the Stathogram. We could get the um, Forbidden Reach, but just want to check to see and make sure I've got everything. All right, so... No. Got that. Level 8 lore. There we go. And should we run another wild nap? Mm, I think we're okay. Fascination trap online. We're going to have sickness next, which sucks, but I can definitely get a uh, vitality up and running by that point. Hmm. No, I can't. I don't have the study. I'm going to have to do some manual labor. Ugh. How the mighty have fallen. Okay. Let's see. Yep, it's the same one where basically the crowd reacts positively and some dude runs for the exit because we've unleashed his hidden trauma through our mystical dances. Anyways, nappy poo, time for that. But it did, as you noticed, burn the restlessness, which did not mean it turned into which means it did not turn into a dread. Put that back there. And when we have the time, we'll just yeah, ditch the jumble. Mystique's up and running again. Yeah, we may have to go the smoke method on this one. He's yeah, we're not gonna see him for a bit, and I need to do that painting. This has been reset. Nope. Let's reset this and then do the painting, so otherwise I'll have to redo this job again, which sucks. Boom, go. Hmm. And I'm gonna guess we're gonna get the abandoned warehouse. Yep. Forsaken Reach basically means we've hit everything that's the random repeatable. We do not need that for the dancing, so it just becomes kind of a white elephant. Anyways, health's back. We need to determine whether or not we're going to make a run for the Stathroom Residence. It's only got a single watchers thing. I've got enough people to be able to do 90% chance of doing this. Just the notoriety generation is going to be an issue. If I can be very careful, very careful, and I only get four reputation, I can use a painting in order to be able to... Uh, um, hide my reputation if he comes about again. I will know in a second. Boom. Because... Nope, notoriety. He's going to start up by the, this unless I am very clever and I'm going to try to be very clever. Speaking of which, I'm guessing we're selling like a piece of jewelry we got. Never sure what you can get for jewelry. Alright. Now... We reset this, but rather than going back to the regular dancing, we are going to be doing manual labor so we can get a vitality to ditch the sickness. Nope. And of course our nap. Lots of napping. Hmm. And we have one fund. We're still 20 funds. Hey. We're not gonna be doing any having any issues with that. We've got one health ready for the practical experimentation. It's gonna happen here, which is good, but we may end up with the injury, which would be another vitality issue. Yeah, dancing is hard in the body. Anyways, back, good, we got the second one back. Hmm, about ready 10 seconds in. Then we'll do the painting part of things. All right, now, here's how we're gonna do it. We have 10 seconds to get our reputation concealed by using painting. Here's the painting one. Let's see. Yep, we'll need the health as soon as we can. We've got the vitality here to be able to take care of it. And we'll have more than enough time, 30 seconds from now, because we have a one, uh, 179 seconds to complete that part. Hmm, give me a second. Sorry, small problem here off on the side. <laughs> Yes, apparently something's gone wrong with my Steam stream manager. Sometimes, when I lost the link, apparently I lost my own ability to live feed it. So if anybody has been out there doing anything, I'm not going to be aware of it until now because I'm not entirely sure Amazon taking over this site has helped that much. Uh, probably not. Anyway, so yep, there's the practical experimentation, which requires a health, which gives you a 10% chance of getting that back as an injury. In the meantime, let's put into normal speed so I have a better better chance of being able to do this properly. You'll notice down on here, the cycle's going down to the 10 seconds it requires to find a hunter. Hunter, of course, being the weary detective. I'm gonna stop this at about the one second mark. What we're gonna do, place the mystique in here. This, if we time it out just right, just before he starts looking for evidence, will conceal it for the first 
30 second cycle that he does to find evidence. If he doesn't find, if he finds evidence in his first 30 seconds, he will then go to a 60 second cycle and it becomes impossible to keep the reputation for him because this is the only point you can do so. And I guess he might actually make some money off of this too. I forgot we need a, something to, uh, uh, yeah, fleeting resemblance. It's usually pretty good for a return on this. You usually get a glimmering or two. All right, let's go. Boom, no reputation because it's all concealed by the painting. The only thing on top is the fleeting resemblance. Fleeting resemblance. Fleeting remembrance. Ugh, it can be so bad at that. Okay, so once, but this will mean we'll have to wait for our passion to regenerate before we can generate the painting, but we gotta do another dance between the two. Yeah, this is all about freaking timing. You no, know, I'm kind of gonna let, I don't normally do this, but I'm kind of just gonna let us uh, put some extra money into the painting. You never know, it might help. Usually you get it at least back. Eh, take care of this before it turns on us because we definitely need to keep our health up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Boom. Now, if you notice, that cycle is over. He's not considering the evidence, which means he's looking for an evidence card, not a reputation card. Therefore, our mystique, although it's frozen while we're doing this, no longer works against us. But yeah, we're going to be in another restlessness. So we're going to get rid of that with the dancing. Ah, it just goes on and on and on and on and on. Hmm, tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow creep in our petty face from day to day to the last syllable of recorded time. And all our yesterdays have uttered the ways for fools to death thee death. Out, brief candle out. Life is but a walking shadow that struts and frets its hour upon the stage and is heard no more. It is a tale sold by an idiot full of sound and fury signifying nothing. Macbeth, Act 5. Alright, artist reward. What did we get anyways? I think we got three funds. So yeah, three to one investment. Not, oh, of course, look, our mystique is off the fucking chart at this point. Oh, we got a contentment, too, because apparently it was a really good uh, painting. And normally I'd use that for something, but we've got seven seconds to get back to work. <laughs> That's why I freeze every time I do this. It is so easy to mess this up. But at least we'll have enough time to paint away the restlessness, if that's what we want to do with it. Probably going to be, but you notice that if this guy pops again, there's no way we can cover all five of these reputations. So if I want to do the painting, which will generate two notoriety for the tool for heart to get Renara and Leo up to level five, then I have to use a smoke scenario. Now, if I do that, the smart thing to do right now is to just grab another follower. Keep up the smoke here so that if he pops up, we've got a good chance of preventing the reputation um, hit uh, the variety reputation from coming up when he's looking for it. You'll just keep grabbing Mystique until the notoriety burns out. Okay, I think, yeah, that should be it. Blinking the light will have level 8 lore just about there. Alright, pop this back out. Yeah, we keep that health going. Alright, so after this we'll do Stum. We'll get the damn uh, ritual, which is my favorite one, so we can get rid of the influences that bother us. Including like the restlessness. Restlessness is awesome, by the way, if you're using it for ritual because it's got so many level two. You can use it. One of the easiest ways to use it is to bump up a uh, summoning spell to uh, get you the uh, name. You know, one of the, the forge lantern or um, Grail level ten, level twelve beast. Okay, opportunity. Okay, no, not that. Like this. All right. Oh yeah, the cop's gonna be after us. This is gonna be painful. Oh, looks like I cut myself. All right, so yeah, we need another vitality. So we're gonna temporarily. Okay, how do we deal with this? Hmm. All right, so best way to handle this. First of all, we're going to study health. Delay that for a second so we can get this within 60 seconds. Easily enough time to be able to do so simultaneously. We will nap in order to remove the um, uh, get that health back up and running. Now, this point we've got to decide what we're going to do with the restlessness. Now, the best thing I can probably do is I can probably just use the standard painting. That's not going to generate an additional um, mystique. And we might, if we wait five minutes, he will burn through the mystique we have running here. In fact, you're going to burn one mystique naturally, as it were. Okay, so the passion's back up. Passionate creature. There we go. Yeah, he's onto us again. It's a pain in the butt. You can get clever, but the game's just going to wear you down by repetition. That's why the reasons you have to finish in a timely manner. Yeah, we're going to get another mystique when we get that follower. 
and let's pop it up to fast forward again. All right, there's the vitality. Good, we've got an extra one at least. All right. Oh, hey, it's gonna be a race to see which one we get first here, but we'll hold off until we get the uh, into the first one off the vitality. Now, okay, he's popping out more um, mystique. Let's see, we're gonna join the third one, so he's gonna be there for another four, well, four in-game minutes, two in-game, two minutes here. All right, let's just get that popped out, shall we? They could use a fund, it's not really an issue here, but deal is, is that, yep, level eight lore, Gemini Invocation of the Sister and Witch. All right, so at this point, let's deal with this dumb. Okay, we're gonna need to buy, to have, to buy a projector in order to watch it. I just love this one. The film rattles through the projector, glows silently in the wall. The story of a foolish student of forbidden sciences who recruits a dancer, ha, to entice the dead back into the world through the flaw in its skin. It's a fiction, but here in the title is to clay out the operation of the declining sun, which is a type of lore. All right, so we're going to go watch my favorite um, uh, home movie, which is about the dead consuming a foolish uh, sorcerer. Let's see. Yep. Going to have to keep the dancing part here since we want to keep that job because we need our cover for the cop. In addition, gonna have to consider. Oh god, another restlessness coming up. Ugh. Boom. I think it's Dorothy. That's the third one. Excellent. Excellent. Let's give her a talk to talking to, and she can dance with the doll. Boom. And we're gonna have to hold off at any further ones until we lose the cop again. And killing the cop is really not a good idea when you're doing the dancer because the more powerful hunters will arrive and that's just not going to be good for you. Okay, Restless is up and running. Opportunity, so we'll pop that one in. And boom. And boom. Almost ready to give you uh, your level 10. All right. Uh, no patron card, unfortunately, but there's th another mystique. Okay, and another vitality. God, it just rains vitality. Restlessness. We're going to ditch it the usual way, just to avoid generating more mystique. Ooh, stum. Oh, it's level six, isn't it? Operation Declining Sun. We've got the option. We might have the ability to be able to um, do the... Uh, Riddle, which has got a 1 in 4 chance, I think, I mean the right one, because we're by process elimination. The right is depicted in chilling detail. Here is a flaw in the world, an influence shimmering in the luminous paint. Right. Once we manipulate for some of the endings, by the way. Also, uh, virtually every spot we go to when we do our expeditions is questionable whether it's one of these. Here's a dancer establishing the irresistible rhythm. The heart maintains. In fact, I always wonder if this is an alternate version of the dancer. Uh, because the dancer, in, if you're not playing the dancer, it would make sense that the dancer character that you're currently occupying would be the one they hired to do this. But the scholar recites the operation, now the misty dead whirl through the flaw to consume him. The, f the film closes in the dancer's watchful eyes, had she intended it all from the beginning. Yes, how evil are we? We are becoming, after all, an abolished abomination. Uh, a happy one, though. Um, although we got to get rid of that damn dread. Uh, okay, so... Quickest way to do so, of course. Standard practice. Sunsight. Oh, I gotta wait for the work one to obviously clear. But this really shouldn't. Oh god, dread trap. Oh, we had to do this. We can ditch this, however, in time if we're quick about it. Get drunk to get a contentment to match out against the uh, dread. And of course, we've got the ritual. That my favorite ritual. Now the question is, what we're going to be doing now? Let's see. This is level six. We can try that against the uh, on those later. Do we want to? Well, you know, we've got like these endless number of books I have yet to tackle. That's Moth. This is. Hmm. This will be a six pointer for part. This is. Secret Histories, I think. An edge. Oh, well, I suppose we could start getting some edge points and get edgy. Oh, God. Forgive me on that one. I think it's going to be a two-point when it comes to edge lore. No, we might as well hit the books so we're waiting for the cop to vanish. I'm going to be doing that a lot, I fear. <laughs> the vitality. Boom. Dread. Contentment. Oh. This means we do not activate the dread trap by not having... by basically 
getting so wasted that we don't realize the horrors we're doing we're unleashing upon the world and ourselves <laughs> which you know is standard fare for lovecraftian protagonist all right you're at level four still have bunches of people to get or at least a couple slots here that are still open usually i leave enough slots just for the people so that we got two and i think we've got at least one pawn left but again i'm trying to lose the cop before i do the painting if i only have the two notoriety generated by the painting i can keep that concealed hey we got some money all right so yeah i'm making money i'm not used to that in this game <laughs> gonna have to retire you know and get a boat anyway so work where do we go from here work-wise i think yeah we're gonna have to keep doing this part i mean it'd be cool if i could once i get the level six lures up i could just stop and do the um this sort of thing but i'm kind of hoping for the patron card to show up all right so yep two point in edge lore oof a new room <laughs> shift do everything at once all right so what's next that's latin let's just grab one that doesn't require translation if i got it ah cool kidling go for it just moth lore but the question is whether we want to try to see if we've got the riddle i think i might lose that because oh wait till the dread trap vanishes though because we could, could possibly get a dread from it reading reading remembrance semblance it's not doppelgangers all right so next come on ghibli tell me it's oops no 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 tell me the the answer is winter oh no damn well that means that it's not much left forge or grail or edge i mean sorry um or grail edge or knock Oof. anyway it's gonna mess with our head Okay, doke. Okay, that's the last one. Thank gods, you're gone. I can't nap. I've got vitality at the wazoo again. Always do. All right, so what now? Don't want to do the pa mm, painting. 54 seconds. If I gen don't generate another one, I can probably... Eh, mm, we'll wait 30 seconds on that, then start the painting. Well, I mean, he'll be in evidence mode before we generate that notoriety. Okay, there goes the dread trap. And there goes another restlessness. I think we're going to dance that one away. Obviously more profitable. Ooh, another glimmering. Wow. And what have we got for lore? Wood Whisper. For lore, for moth. Hmm. Christopher's book. Hit it. And are we going to dance? Contract. All right. I wait on the painting now if i wait for the restlessness to hit i'll consume the restlessness no it's only for dancing you get it back if you paint it so let's get to it let's see this one the crowds of sleep we don't know what we're gonna get at least not yet all right so ooh, can't generate for another 50 sec 56 seconds i forgot once you're clear Okay, it disappointed. I've not altered into a unrate into a raging creature, and I've got to do the contract again. Ah, uh, timing. It's all about timing. Restlessness. Right, we'll get that before it changes on us, or we'll burn it off using the ritual. One way or the other. Another restlessness. Now we're in trouble. Okay, so. We'll burn one to the dread. No, that dread. Yeah, we have just enough time. So I did plan that one out right. So that will turn to dread. Before, and there's the dread trap. Ooh, problem. Problem, problem. Got to get rid of two of these things at once. Now, two ways I can do that. Oh, erudition. Erudition. All right, that's two, isn't it? Oh, yep. <laughs> of course, we get one of each. Now, I am actually considering doing something crazy. Now remember, knife's um, knife. Edge's lore is actually um, this is not Edge. Moron. <laughs> Knock lore. I keep forgetting that part. Knock lore has a secret ability in that you allow you to combine it with any form of lore. So basically, I could take this, 
add it to a barber's warning and boom that will come a level four why am i doing this because if i can get a level four lore up to the point um to go with the next version i can get to level six that of course is another opportunity to get the riddle to get the secret histories to allow us to move to the next level of things which moving on is one of the things about this game anyway so we're gonna do this but you notice we're gonna need to complete both the uh, the erudition um fragment and the intuition now the thing is we have 116 seconds unfortunately i need to get another glimmering before i do that or there's a little crazy way of doing it i can pull those out and then come around and do it when um, this degenerates back into a glimmering again it's a little weird for timing wise but it works trust me on that one now the other thing is is that we have the dread trap here we can remember take sulachana put her in here and then freeze any influence for 60 seconds. This will allow one of these to be gone. Now the second one also has to be removed. So the question is, can I, yep. Yeah, once we get the performance done, I will take the other one and put it into there. So what I wanna do is take one of these, six Silichana, put her into talk, talk to her about restlessness. That freezes that one and out of, it. hopefully out of the way. No, I'm not gonna, probably not gonna be able to pull it off. Darn it, I forgot. It's still exposed at the end. So, anything else I want to talk to her about? Probably not. Uh, just let this burn for a bit. Oh, there's actually a funny Easter egg. Yes, that will get you into trouble. She talks about passion. Reason. Nope, nothing. And health. You're young. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah, I remember she's an immortal. She's probably pretty bitter about that. The fact that we're attractive. Because underneath that skin, she's not human. You know, we've already figured that out. Oof. Uh, sucks. I might be able to pull this off if I'm really clever using that erudition. And in the meantime, let's continue. Gonna probably lose that restlessness to something nasty. Okay. Quickest way we can get deal with this is what? So use Sulichana in order to grab the rest the, the contentment. What will happen is that if one of these pops, the dread trap will grab it. Probably might able to do so then we'll have this one pop out and it will it will grab that one and that will cancel it out okay kind of not the best point but we can do that mm -hmm. and boom more of that now we're going to take the usual method passion plus uh, that one Yep, we're going to get the pot dread trap, and then the contentment tra the contentment will cancel it. This is all about planning. Okay, speaking of which, take a nap. Mm -hmm. Boom, there you go. And it works, because I don't even have to, by the way, because uh, uh, the, it's exposed, but frozen. So that keeps it in play, so it can be grabbed. Anyways, so yeah, this could be an issue. All right, so I need to go three minutes for that to go down, or... I could freeze the glimmering using Sulichana, which I thought I think I will do. This will keep it exposed for me to use when I get to that point. Now, grab the Nakalor, combine it with the Moth Lore, which I'm overflowing in. You never want to use a critical lore. You're there. So I can next time we're using the painting to get the damn tool, and then we're going to bring up our person. Ugh. This episode's going to be mostly about getting that done. Fortunately... Not the most exciting scenario, but it is showing you sort of the strategies. I'm going to put this back in a tip to tricks, unlike, uh, despite what I said this, uh, earlier, because we did get to go over a lot of different ways to do handle this. Now, let's see. Do, do, do. Uh, anything else that we need? Probably not. What I'm probably going to do is snap into here just so we can get a possibility of level six lore that will speed things up a bit anyways could possibly even take the time to bring up to level eight like despite what i said earlier because don't want the situation to get any crazier all right speaking of crazy the crazy woman is going crazy woman with black skin and glowing eyes is somehow still keeping her job in the chorus line I guess they don't ask too many questions. Labor must be... Skilled labor must be um, rarer at this point. Okay. You. Yep, glimmering's in place. Now, the thing is, remember, I can just keep doing this. I still grab the glimmering off the top. So if you want to keep it frozen, do it that way. Challenge knowledge. I could just put it in our headquarters, but we might also chew that up. All right. You go here. 
Ooh, opportunity again. Boom. All right, do we have level six lore? No. No, eh, I'm not gonna complain. At least it wasn't anything negative. After visiting the land of the dead, we take a nap, because we take a nap after everything. You gotta keep your health up. All right, two cash. Guess you notice how quickly we're burning through it. Okay, so finally the painting. All right, so. Not gonna deal with the cop next, good. All right, so first things first. We need, oh, we need all four passions in play. And I'm not gonna, ooh, but we'll have that in three seconds. All right, so let's late the three seconds. All right, we need four passion to be able to pull this off in order to create the painting, the eight point tool we can generate. There's an eight point tool, of course, you get an expedition, but it's, of course, a lot easier to do it yourself. It just costs you two um, notoriety instead of one for the expedition. In the meantime, boom, 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 boom. Now remember, when you're doing this, you're gonna need that, the um, rose, the four point um, heart, as you can see, pigment. Now, okay, we've got the open soul. We need level four for the, uh, for the, for the imagination four passion up and running and we need we'll need this and of course any amount of heart lore paint this inspiration will be the heart lore the esoteric art those will know understand as well as the suppression bureau because it will automatically generate at least one notoriety on top of the mystique so pull up the exotic art we start this running okay now keep this in mind i'm going to put this under normal because we do not want to screw this one up as we're creating this painting of the witch and sister, I believe, we're going to be... Do you have to be delicate about it? There's the health. Mm, take seven seconds off that one. All right, now it's asking for the special pigment, which is going to be this one. Notice it's already telling us we're gonna have notoriety for doing this part. All right, so go ahead and generate that. Oof, tell me that we're gonna not. All right, so next one is going to be our door, which is going to be give us a contentment, which is not really a bad thing. So we're gonna go K for the moment. More vitality, we can always use that. All right, so uh, uh, we're gonna need that glimmering very shortly. All right, glimmering goes in. That changes. That goes to the intuition challenge. We will have a level four knock ability, knock lore soon. Hmm. That will hopefully get us to at least the uh, level six, level eight uh, secret history lore we can get from the stag gate, which is still locked to us, which sucks. Now getting it again, the priest um, run is going to be even more difficult. That is a chore and a half, but we will get to that when we get to that. Okay, passion goes here. Um, anything else I want to throw at the world right now? Probably not. We're going to need to be, of course, the contract when we're done with the painting. And I don't think we're going for any secret lore, heavy lore. Although, maybe, maybe I will go for the sixer. Hang on. All right. Yes, a worthy medium. The sweet dawn of the sea, rebirth time. Ah, I wonder if it's unique for each type of uh, lore you're doing. But yeah, because the sea is associated with the heart. Because remember, where else are you going to find the rhythm of the world so well as the uh, movement of the tides? Finished. All right. Nope. Something unique. I've made something unique, something extraordinary, something I will never dare to exhibit. This cannot ever see daylight. It will earn no funds. In this case, it's an eight-point tool, and it's exactly what we need. Okay. Boom. All right. Something unique. All right. So, basically, Sister and the Witch. She has been a pair of funeral birds, but here she is as she wishes to drown. Yeah, we're talking the Sister and Witch are the aspect of death and rebirth. I've been over that a bit. And if we ever get to the lore... Ooh, I love that picture. If you're looking closely, you can see one of them is dressed in red... And, uh, the, and other than a darker red, but they got black in the back. Red and black are the way in the mysticism are the symbols of life, death, and rebirth. Basically, it's about the primal energies coming into manifestation or into a physical world or being consumed by the aspect of death.
Death is really big in mysticism if you haven't figured that one out yet, because it's the one mystery no one can dispute exists. The one magic that is all must experience. All right, pulsing airs. Oof, could do so, oh, so much want to dance with that one, but I'll lose this. <sighs> it's so good. Oh, so you gotta sit on that for me, would you? Thanks. God, the glimmering is off the scale. All right, eight point tool. Now we know what we're gonna do this. Once we get Sulichana um, cycling that through, because I want to get, want to use it for a dance. Just because I want to see what happens if you put that many hearts into a dance. Because, oh my god, that would be like 15 hearts. It sucks that I don't have it, that, a um, transformation dance ready. But as you can see here, yeah, we're going to have to watch that notoriety. Because I can still use a painting in order to be able to consume it. All right, let's go. Now fast forward, because we've gotten the delicate stuff offwards. Okay, so now that we have the tool, we're going to have to use it and get the talk one back. Light, like good, level four lore. Hmm, I think actually I'll grab the level four moth lore and do this again. Shouldn't be that difficult, and we've certainly got the glimmering to burn. All right, so what we need is level six. It's four, don't not need it. Favor from authority. Oh, level six is the other one. I should go to the orchard more often. Favor's not going to be issue since we're unlikely. Oh, I don't know. Yeesh. Anyways, passion. Let me see if we got... No. Stop that. Do they automatically just go for the closest one? Should keep that in mind. Alright, so oops, snappy poo. Boom. And yeah. You do that. Alright, so yeah, I want to see if it I doubt this is gonna do anything special if we just dump this much power into a, a regular dance, but you never know. Let's see what special dance we can create for them. And a health, obviously, because trying to turn that one to a scar. We need the club, and we need skill. All right, doesn't look like it. Unfortunate. Mr. Agitius. Yes, it's always questionable whether or not they partake of their dancer's uh, passions. I would say they would, just as kind of a little amorality that that these immortal beings could have. I mean, how often do divine ask mortals if they want to have a... Uh, want to have a um, intimate interaction. Just has Zeus about that one. Alright, so it doesn't look like it just changes anything, but at least it was kind of interesting to, to take a take a neck and knock at it. Alright, so right, so we are going to do this again with the level 4 knock lore. That is going to give us the option to be able to do so. I don't need an, an, um, I don't need an erudition um, in order to be able to do so because I can use our headquarters library for a substitute for knowledge. Okay, so we're just going to do the standard dance. We're going to be one. We should check to see if the cop's going to bother us. Oh my god, how did I miss that? Oof, we're not going to be able to pull this off, are we? 32 seconds and one second. Oh, we have been busted. We're going to be busted. We're going to have evidence. Ah, oh, sucks. All the planning could just go wrong. A lot of this game is just straight up damage control. All right, so I do not think we need to dive into the abyss right now. It's not until we get the level six knock lore. Yeah, there we go. We're gonna have we're gonna get busted. So we need to get rid of that um, notoriety, which 70% chance. Let's hit it. Not using that one at the moment, anyways. See if you can get rid of the other one for me, would you? Hmm. Least favorite way of doing it. Okay. Health and all the passion. Hmm. Ah, sometimes it can take so long. Knowledge, hit it. Go to the library. The mystique, unfortunately. All right. Well, actually, no. That may in fact burn out. So, oof, going to going to do that. So let's see. Yep. Do our day job. Boom. Breathe. Breathe. Just breathe. God, sometimes this game, it's gonna, this game is designed to hit you from all different ways, angles. Okay, there's a 70% chance. Oh, and there's that. The vitality will, however, be in position when we're done with it. Okay, so boom. 
grab the good 50 50 chance and we got lucky there's the evidence so we cannot generate any more notoriety or we are in deep crap we may actually need this 184 seconds we have to use silichana's ability but i just want to get these people up to level 10 first all right opportunity responsible time but hey we'll deal with it breathe all right still no patron not exactly okay boom all right, so at this point, with the no evidence up, we want to generate as much mystique as possible because we definitely want to be able to um, get, throw up that smoke. So the first thing we need to do is... Uh, scars are almost up and running. We'll use that to generate more mystique. All right. And get that damn scar we want. And influence. Well, we'll need that glimmering for this, but the vitality, on the other hand, of oh, wait, 84 seconds... Yeah, the vitality's fine. We'll have it, it be more than enough time to be able to uh, get that. Sickness dealt with. I'll just buy it off. Glimmering for intuition. All right. Boom. Yes. Thank you, Dorothy. To reward you, Dorothy, let's initiate you into the higher mysteries. Point that eight point tool. Exalt a discipline to a Tartanellist. Tara. Uh, Tartanellist. Only a rare few. Those most suited to our services may achieve this rank. Boom. She will be a level 10. She'll be a 90% chance to get rid of the uh, notoriety, which obviously we're going to need because we just keep generating it. Alright, there's the sickness. Go down the sickness. And he's going to burn off the mystique again. Ugh. At least we got rid of the notoriety. We could be in deep trouble. I definitely would need this at that point. Once it take us to, once it take us to trial. Okay, oh, thank you for generating that vitality. All right. Just the nick of time. Okay, so, our favorite cop is... Ah, now we have the scar. Excellent. The vitality goes here. Boom, boom. Boom. All right. Okay, we've got that, finally. Day job. Yeah, you notice 23. We just keep slowly increasing our numbers. Boom. We have that scar. The third scar is going to be necessary for the mystic dances that are come ne next episode. I might do some grinding to get the um, secret histories going so you don't have to watch me because it's going to take a bit, apparently. Normally, I get the uh, stag riddle solved by this point, and I would totally be moving onwards to level 6 and level 8 lore. I if I even get a level 6 one, I probably would take the time to combine these two to make a level 8. But we were having the tide again working against us. It's one thing about this game, you cannot assume optimal circumstances. So it gives you plenty of uh, experience. Oh, achievement unlocked. You probably you can't see it in this one. But yes, a Tartanellist. First time I've gotten a level 10 one. In the meantime, since we've got that open, we might as well just keep doing everybody. We get all three at level 10. All right. And a restlessness, of course. Okay, boom, level six lore. Or knock. Might, we will test that one out to beat the riddle. Otherwise, we'll just deal with it like we usually do. Okay, boom. Normal cash. Right, at this point, we don't want to generate any additional material, but the restlessness will be up. Okay, tell you what, we'll just wait for the restlessness to, to hit so I can use the... Uh, the level one painting, which is the only one, by the way, that can do this. Uh, yeah, it's a good thing probably none of you are watching. Yeah, I forget one potential viewer, probably just however my own, uh, uh, my own bot that's over in here because I have watched Twitch drop in and out. Uh, these are one of the technical glitches I was mentioning last time. I'm trying to do live episodes regularly on Sunday now. That's one of the things, but I have not promised it simply because... Is something wrong with the ISP um, connections where I live? Okay, it's attempting to reconnect. Anyways, so what now? Hmm. No, you might as well keep, since we've got the uh, study th option open, you might as well keep going. We can get a we'll get a, we can work towards getting a level six um, rail uh, that that by paying a level two or level four lore with this book, then moving that up to combining that to make level six with some glimmering. In the meantime. Hmm, probably should just grinding the day job. Maybe we can get work to getting that patron. 
And we are going to definitely try to hit the rid riddle with level six, Nakalor. Ugh, for our crying out loud. Gonna be Grail or Forge. All right, so. Last time, Clavette, my second favorite companion. Boom. Put you at level 10. Restless just goes here. Yeah, I forgot I was going to use this for the um, painting, but I can actually do both. I've got enough time on that. Three seconds. Hey, let's see if I catch it or I have to deal with the dread. Be the first time um, I'm going to be using the sunset right as well. Okay. Mm well, looks like I may not need that. Depends on what's next. Nope, dread trap. All right, so we've got to prioritize getting rid of the restlessness. Okay, and boom. Okay, passion. This is actually working against me because it could have knocked that restlessness into dread. All right, so another vitality, just in case, which is always good. Now, paint our restlessness away with a single passion card. Yep, red secret. And there's what we need to combine it. So you might as well just start that path because now we're down to one in three for our possibilities of what the answer is to the, to the riddle. What do we have in our pockets, precious? Okay, so what now? All right. Eight point tool goes here. All right, so we finally got that particular one. Now, I was hoping to get further along in this episode than just getting my people to level 10, but I do not have the ability to get to level 8 um, transforma uh, section for transformation. Now, let's see. The only really thing big that's going on right now is I have to ditch that evidence. I could drop a moth person into it, get rid of it. Probably That's probably exactly what I'm going to do. And... Restless is down. Next person up is going to be the Dread Trap, and that'll be empty. We'll deal with... I'll get the level... Yeah, before I start the next episode, I will get the level lore... Six lore on Grail. We'll see if that's the issue. And I will start searching for another Forge. Source of Forge, so I can bloody well get um, the Forge, if that turns out to be the issue. Hang on for a second. That's why I'm rearranging why we're talking here. Yep, the blonde... Uh, yeah, there it is. We've got so much that we have here to be able to burn through. But like I said, it's not terribly exciting to watch me do this sometimes. So, like I said, I will speed things up a bit before we start the next episode. Then I will start in on, hopefully, because if it if I have to, I will grind all these level four together to level eight so that we'll have the um, the Fox Lily dancing marathon to be able to get you up to the next level. You. <laughs> talking to the dancer as if it was a person, to get the uh, the dancer up to the uh, next level of dance. And then we can move forward into the um, final stretch of the game. Because probably that's what we're aiming for. If it really gets bad. If I can't get that riddle down, I will burn a lot of uh, time to get the uh, Secret Histories uh, 10 and 14 uh, ones as well off screen. Because like I said, it's not terribly exciting to watch me do all of this. So this has been Fantastic Worlds. Saying farewell from Lovecraft Country. Do hope you enjoy this. Like, share, subscribe if you have. Subscribe to both channels. Like I said, if you want to unlock the um, medium slash ghoul. And that's the real name of the thing. I just like the fact that they conceal that until, well, your unfortunate unfortunate method of ascension is, a, is a revealed in the game. At 450 or 50 subscribers at Twitch, whichever comes first. As well as another four episodes of Darkest Dungeon Tips and Trips, which will come after this. And oh my god, if you people are out there well, I'm, well, I'm at Darkest Dungeon people, I'm sorry about how long this is taking. Normally, I was budgeting a four episode, three to four episode run for this, but the um, the lack of being able to solve this riddle has really slowed me down. It's one thing about this game. You cannot be predict for success, only for failure. Anyways, so in any case, of course, if you really like what I'm doing down below within YouTube is a links to the Gumroad payment platform. You need, of course, they can unlock additional um, material, basically monthly, although I'm doing something special for the February March combination because I'm not going to get this out by the end of the month, but I am combining the two into a larger project. Probably a four episode run that would be for that the uh be for um oh god dropped again yeah I'm trying to recommend the Twitch thing but it Twitch just seems to be acting odd or my ISP does I'll have to work I'll have to work on that um and of course but if you do manage to catch me over there I'm doing my damnedest to try to do this I try to do a weekly Sunday 
on this. They're going to be Sunday in the afternoon, um, between sometime between two and four PST, which would congelates between five. Sorry, yeah, five and uh, seven Eastern Standard Time, and unfortunately between eleven and PM and one PM on Central European Time. Because I know I have some of you people out there in Europe, and I'm sorry about the time differential. It means most of you are probably catching up with me on um YouTube. And really do want to get some of these live episodes going if I can just get the technical issues. It's just if there's one thing that definitely defines my channel, it's dealing with technical issues. Anyway, so hope you enjoyed this and I will see you next time.